Hi mate and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov2 as usual and today I've got another tier 10 replay lined up for you guys. This is a game I had day before yesterday in my AMX50 Fosh 155 with my two friends General Denny and Redwood Forest again. We've spawned on highway and this was I think the best game I've had so far in my Fosh 155. I'm really loving this tank, I haven't quite found out how to play this tank properly yet or in many way not getting the most out of it yet I feel but I'm still having lots of fun it's really really good fun and um, yeah basically this tank is all about its amazing autoloader clip there um, now that was my friend General Denny who ammo racked at 59.16 there for 530 damage so very lucky shot from him and what I was saying is this tank's basically all about its gun it's got this amazing autoloader clip with three shots in it and uh, it's basically able to wreck nearly any tier 10 tank within 10 seconds and do him for his entire health so this tank is really really powerful now usually in your tank destroys you'd be heading over to the A1 area and the one line in this map but I decided to go to the city I'm very lucky to get over here without taking a shot from that centurion there uh, so I decided to go over here because this tank has got 3 seconds aiming time, that's a really really long aiming time and the accuracy is quite trollish with 0.36 actually on the gun. So that means this tank is actually not that good at sniping, it excels at close quarters combat and yeah that's why I like this gun. <laughs> and <laughs> we just basically killed a full health centurion one within 5 seconds. That's just hilarious. I mean, yeah, it was a bit of a waste of a second shot because this gun here averages an alpha damage of 850 HP. So wasting it in the 500 damage shot, well, I mean, it was okay, but, you know, you could do better. So I've only got one shot of my clip left, and my plan is to quickly poke around this corner here, fire at that IS-8, and then uh, retreat to reload my clip for 40 seconds. Now, however, I run into lots of trouble while coming around here, so I rush my shot take one hit and now look at this IS-8 he blocks me so that I can't retreat and the thing is I can't really turn around too uh, sharply because then I'll expose my side armor to the enemies and that's only 50 millimeters so basically they can waff HE shells right through there. Now my friend General Denny in his IS-7 is, has kind of managed to flank around and get the sides of that AMX 1500 and the Lover. so that means that take some pressure off me and this T30 here which allows me to reload. Uh, the reload on this gun usually takes 50 seconds with 100% crew but I've got vents and BIA on this tank so yeah it's a bit better it's about 45 seconds and I'm nearly through and basically for the amount of alpha damage you can pump out with this gun the reload is absolutely acceptable. Now somehow I bounce off the front of an IS-8 next I decide to prioritize the AMX-51 20 because he's the more dangerous tank and next to go for the IS-8 again putting my last shot in and now I'm trapped and I've got quite a good repair crew on this tank and there are not all that many tanks focusing fire on me so I decide to wait for the repair and again then uh, ally tank blocks me this KV-4 oh my days what oh. uh, if, that, if there had been more tanks there that could have easily cost me my life So I'm reloading and that's the thing that sometimes can really frustrate you in your AMX 50 Fosh. You're in the middle of a reload and you basically can't do anything to affect the, uh, the outcome of the battle. During this time anyway. So yeah, I'm nearly done again. That IS-8 there, he's in one shot range of me. So let's go for it. Oh yes, more like that please. Hello Mr. IS-7. And we missed. That was fairly clutch. That's because of the very bad, very bad aiming time of this gun. Now I try to get a shot of the low glazes, but E75 and make it happen. The fourth kill, and now I'm reloading it. And that KV4 blocks me again. But I mean, okay, strictly speaking, that was not his fault. And anyway, I don't really have to retreat anymore now because we're easily rolling over these tanks of the city here, basically overrunning them. Still, I don't want to be too aggressive and get out of position because I'm still reloading and more or less defenseless. And this tank if it gets out flanked is basically really screwed because of its bad side armor and low hit point pull. And this yeah, this is basically exactly the right environment for General Denny and his IS-7 here is close city combat, just what he likes. You see he's pumping out the damage. Let's see, can we get this KV-4? Oh yes! <laughs> he's not looking that happy anymore now is he? 
Okay, can we finish him off? There we go. Good job. Fifth kill. This gun is so powerful. And I'm just going to put one shot into this. Oh, we could kill him with a shot. Yes, there goes Top Gun. Good, good. Good stuff. Okay. So, I'm really clipping again, and now I'm going for artillery. Oh, yeah. There she is. But I'm reloading my clip. That means I can't fire. And I've been spotted. Okay. And he's trying to run away. Oh no, oh no, but I think now he's realised that I'm reloading. He's trying to point, I think he is reloading too. So I make lots, I ram him and <laughs> I kill him <laughs> Where, while I'm reloading my gun. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that guy, I you have to feel sorry for that French artillery piece. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, there's a fosh. Oops, he's reloading. Okay, I'll be able to kill him. Oh, I don't think so, Artie. <laughs> oh yeah, I was I was literally laughing my ass off at that point. I was <laughs> it was so funny. Okay, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and that's quickly check up after game stats to find out what exactly we achieved in that game. So here we go, these are the post battle stats of this game. We got 63,229 credits and 3.596k experience but that was with a premium account and for our daily double. Still that was enough to pick me up my first class mastery badge in the Fosh and also I got a top gun medal. If we look at the detailed report we can see I nearly managed to deal out 7k damage, I picked up 7 kills and got 1200 experience or just short of it. Now yeah 7k experience or nearly 7k experience is quite good but I really feel that this tank could do better considering that its guns got an alpha damage of uh, let's see it's 850 so I really think you could do better in this tank. And I certainly still will, I feel. I still have to kind of master this vehicle here. And I'm still in the progress of learning how to play it. Uh, if we look at the detailed report. Oh, sorry, I said this was the detailed report, wasn't it? This is this team score. This is the detailed report, so sorry for that. Anyway, we fired 12 shots, of which 10 hit and 9 penetrated. We these Only these 9 penetrations allowed us to deal out 6,800 damage. We did that with 9 shots, that's really good. We received 8 hits but only 3 of those penetrated. 2 did splash damage, so that was Artie firing at me obviously. And 5 didn't penetrate. And we received nearly 3,000 potential damage, which is nice. We detected 4 enemies, damaged 7 and destroyed 7. And we travelled 1.8 clicks. And although the shells in this tank are quite expensive, we could make quite a profit. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this game, and especially the ramming kill on the artillery at the end, which was absolutely hilarious. Now, I've got a bit of bad news for you guys, and that is that I'm going back to school again tomorrow, and things will be down to usual, like before my summer vacation. So basically, I'll be putting up one or two videos every weekend, and I'll be giving you two weeks worth videos in within the working week, but I won't be able to make any actual content during the week so you only get stuff on the weekend so I'm sorry for that but next weekend a review of the Japanese Cheeto tanks for example coming up so I hope you're looking forward to that and I'm sorry for all this kind of stuff but you know I have to go to school and stuff can't be helped so anyway I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and if you did consider giving the thumbs up or even subbing to my channel I would appreciate that a lot and I'll see you out there on the battlefield bye bye